Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. The mod we're checking out today is very dumb, but in the best way possible. We got another Phil Man classic today. This is the ultimate fan car. Quite literally, it's a giant fan on a uh, brain car, basically. It's based on the SBR4, but really, I mean, there's not much left of it here. But yeah, literally a giant fan in the middle of the frame, uh, I guess, to make down for. So it's going to be very grippy on the ground. Very interesting. I'm not sure where you're going to be sitting to drive this thing. I guess it would have to be uh, remote control because that doesn't look very comfortable to sit on uh, if I'm being completely honest with you. But yeah, this thing is <laughs> interesting to say the least. So uh, I had to try it. I had to try it out when I saw it uh, on the repository. So yeah, let's do just that. And I'm expecting massive grip here. Like, we should be able to drive upside down, theoretically. Uh, it's pretty quick, though. I mean, it's 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 an SBR4, so let's, let's just drive it straight up into the air. Because, you know, why not? At 168 miles an hour, is the fan going to drag us down? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, look at that. We're flying for a second there. <laughs> that was actually kind of interesting at the end. I wonder what's going to happen when we drive this thing. Uh, off the car jump arena. Now that's gonna be interesting. But first, I want to find. Uh, there's got to be a place here on grid map. That's why I'm here, uh, where we can attempt to drive this thing upside down. I guess we could kind of do it there, uh, but not really enough space. All right, I think I found a spot where we can attempt this. So let's drop it right there and see. We should just be able to drive I mean, with a giant fan sucking us down. We should be able to just kind of, oh God, oh God, oh God. I need a first person cam for this. I mean, it's gonna do it loops. There we go, there we go. Oh no, no, oh, we wanted to grip it, but not so much. There we go. <laughs> this thing acts very strange um, in the air. That's for sure. Okay, let's try this again. First person is best when you're trying to do something like this. Are we driving on the sea? We are driving on the ceiling. There we go. I knew it, man. It doesn't even mention this in the description, but uh, <laughs> I just had a feeling if we are if we have a giant fan on this thing and basically that's it, we should be able to be just sucked against the ceiling. Let's do it again. Look at that. Straight up driving on the ceiling, man. <laughs> Gravity does not affect me. Beautiful. Now, if we could only stick the landing, I mean, that would be nice, but, uh, you know, it's fine. So what other weird stuff could you do with the uh, super duper fan car? I don't know, but I kind of want, let's try with some other stuff here. Uh, so let's see how it does against water. Is the water going to instantly bring us down? I'm assuming probably so. I'm assuming this thing will not be so great at stone skipping, but uh, let's give it a shot anyway. <laughs> yeah, it uh, instantly broke the fans. Oh my God, look at a buckled uh, right there. Oh, we're gonna be put in a circle anyway. <laughs> I think we should take this thing to the car. There's actually several things I wanna try out uh, on the car jump arena with this thing. So let's ho head over there uh, right now and have some fun. All right, so first things first, let's try just the big jump. I, I, this thing seems like it might fly. Is there any way I can reverse uh, the fan to make us fly away from the ground? <laughs> Obviously, that would be pretty beneficial here. Uh, but let's see how this goes at 100, 200, about 200 miles an hour here. And yeah, we're just gonna, oh God. We got stopped dead in our track. What happened there? I have no idea. Let's try that again, though. Something caught the blades on the fan, and they just stopped us dead at our tracks. Let's try it from a cinematic camera here. Here we go. And yeah, it just stops us dead in our tracks. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a toy made of styrofoam foam. Very, very strange. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try some other things here on Car Jump Arena. Uh, I think this thing might be 
fairly good at the upside down. What's it called? Stone toss or no, not stone toss. High striker. That's just going straight up in the air. Yeah, if we're sucked against the wall, we should be able to hit the top fair, fairly easily without even going 400 miles an hour. Uh, so let's give this a shot again. Good to go in first person because the camera does get wonky once you get past 90 degrees uh, vertical here. But yeah, here we go. As long as we can keep up the momentum, we should have no problem. Yeah, easily, easily, easily hit the top. <laughs> this thing was made for it, man. Beautiful. Now we get to fall down very slowly for some reason. <laughs> it's not like we could really get any flatter, though. All right, what else should we try here? Um. Should we try the uh, long jump? No, I don't think we're gonna be necessarily good at long jump. Roof slider? I mean, you are on your roof for a second there, but uh, maybe we could slide pretty far with this thing. Why not? You know, <laughs> let's just give it a shot. This thing looks so dumb by itself. I love it so much. <laughs> anyway, here we go. About to be upside down yet again. No problem whatsoever. Oh, wait. It, oh, it oriented itself. Oh, my goodness. What just happened? We are taking flight. It's like a paper airplane or something. I don't know. It feels like it's made out of styrofoam. Legit. How far do we make it? Uh, we made it 100, no, 210 meters. <laughs> I and mean, we, you know, really, we didn't even, you're supposed to like see how far you could scrape the ground. Uh, but no, we were in the air most of the time for that one. Very, very strange. This car is making Beam and G's physics look very wonky, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of awesome at the same time. Should we try stone skipping? I really, really don't think this is going to go well, but let's try it anyway. I think we're going to, it's going to go straight down in the water and just be obliterated. The fans on the fan, or the blades on the fan are gonna be uh, obliterated instantly. And that's gonna be that, but uh, let's give it a shot. Here we go. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take flight again. Oh man. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate, but you know, it, it is cool though. Anything, anytime this thing manages to get some air, uh, weird things start to happen, but it's not supposed to catch air. It's supposed to be very, very grippy uh, on the ground. I think this is really made to go around a track. I know I didn't use it for that, uh, but I imagine this thing is an absolute monster around the track just because of the sheer downforce this thing is making. Uh, you probably don't even have to break too much, and that's what uh, that's what makes it awesome. Anyway, if you want to download this thing for yourself, I have a link down below. And while you're down in the comments, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and go hit up my Discord. Uh, we were out for a while because we were dealing with a uh, hack, but we got it back. So click that link, and I uh, there's actually something I'm working on fairly soon. Uh, a BeamNG iceberg video and there's a section in the discord for that where you can submit uh, submissions for what you think should be in a BeamNG iceberg but yeah hope you guys check it out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye bye